Tjena, how you doing, it's Gordon. You know me, I'm Shirley Q. Licker, hun. Oh, we had an experience in church the other day. I wish you had been there and saw this here for yourself. Because you sure enough ain't going to believe what happened down there. Now, we've had a lady down there bang on the piano. <laughs> she was terrible. She come from the macadamia church. And girl, she is horrible. I thought that's the best they can export. That's not very good. Who else we have had? Oh, we've exchanged choirs and things, but that always turned out a disaster. Because you go up in them other people changing room, you don't know where nothing is. <laughs> And before it's over, you done tore up their change room, they done tore up yours. And that don't do nothing but just make everybody aggravated. So this last week, the uh, pastor, he gonna have the nerve, invite these real fundamentalist crazy people. <laughs> they don't have good sense. Anyway, this one lady, she gonna come up there, and her tooth in her head, and a preacher, and gonna try to tell her testimony. But you couldn't understand no word she said. She gonna come toting out with this basket and go pull out some kind of rattlesnake or something. Honey, she cleared that church out. We're heading for that back door so fast you ain't never saw nothing like it. We was thundering out that church building. I don't care what people believe, but you don't pull out no snake at me. Uh-uh. I'm scared of a snake and a cat. Lord, that's ignorant. Tell your mama I asked her, has she tell her to come to our church? Tell her she ain't been there in about a year. Bye, hun. B98.5 for a gorgeous Tuesday morning. High of 97 today. 66 degrees. <laughs> she's got that look. I love it when she's mad. Tonight's low 68 and the high tomorrow 98. <laughs> I love it when you're mad, Joe. Craig O'Neill, you ain't going to believe what happened to me, child. Well, Let me come in here. All right. Obviously, it's something uh, strange I thought here. it was a good idea to learn how to save somebody's life. Right. And so me and my friend Watusa goes down here to the Red Crosses and we take our CPR course. Yeah. Have you ever took it to dance? Sure, yeah. And that's where they put out a mannequin on the table. Yeah. Oh Lord, I ain't, I was scared. I thought it was I thought it was a dead lady, but she <laughs> said, No, it's um and she said it's a mannequin up here. Mannequin. And she said, come on, girl. She said, put your lips on there and blow. <laughs> well, I blowed so hard, that thing, uh, all the lights turned green. It showed my blood alcohol level was too high. Surely. Oh, I didn't know it could do that. Well. And then Watusa, she told her, she said, beat on that thing chest. Just hit it as hard as you can four or five times. <laughs> and so I was blowing on this dummy, and Watusa was beating on this dummy, and that thing was dead. It ain't never came back to life. All it done was get me a backache and a headache and, and just, I felt terrible for the thing. Yeah. And I asked that woman, should we have a funeral for it? And she said, y'all just don't understand what we're doing. I said, well, I'm sorry, but we have been drinking and we're trying to do the right thing. Surely. And you know, people just don't understand. Yeah. I give it up. But so she wouldn't give us no CPR record. Oh, I can't win nothing. I can't get a Visa card, a master charge. My driver license suspended. I can't even get a CPR. Now, you know that's ignorant. Yes, ma'am. You tell your mama if her heart stops, she on her own. <laughs> Bye, honey. I don't have the heart.